Today, January 20, uh, January 31st, 2014, we have the privilege to be joined by Russell Hitchcock, one of the founding members of the band Air Supply. Um, tomorrow night, Air, Air Supply will perform at the Magic City Casino in Miami, Florida, which is an excellent venue for concerts. Uh, well, Russell, let me be the first to uh, give you an early welcome to hopefully a sunny, at least warm, uh, South Florida. Welcome back, because I know you've been here before. Okay, I'd also like to uh, congratulate you for being inducted into the uh, Australian Record Recording Industry Hall of Fame in uh, December 2013. Uh, quite an honor. Oh. Yeah, well, it's quite a surprise for us because obviously we've been around for many years and uh, you know, it's always nice when you get uh, you know, recognition from your home country and uh, it was a great evening for us. Uh, you know, we were in great company there and uh, just uh, another great achievement for us and, and uh, a tribute to Graham Russell's uh, song, that's for sure. Excellent. I certainly hope that someday um, you have the same honor here in the, in the United States. Good. Good. Yeah, good to see you guys in Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, let me uh, start with some questions here. Um, I saw that the um, that Sanctuary was the last release you had in 2011. Do you have any uh, new albums or projects in the works? We're actually uh, releasing a brand new song probably next week. It's called Desert Sea Sky, and it's actually a dance track. It's something that uh, you know, Greg had written, and we got uh, some interest from a couple of guys at Mix. To, to be an artist. Well, I saw the Beatles alive when I was 15 years old, which shows you how old I am. Uh, that was in 1964. And, uh, you know, I never actually anticipated being in music business, but I was, as soon as I heard their, their music, I was a fan. And, uh, you know, I bought everything I wanted to wear the same boots they wore. And, uh, you know, I bought every magazine I could get, obviously, all their recordings. And, and to my mind, uh, they're the most inspirational. Four tickets uh, for me at the box office. All right. <laughs> Unbelievable. So 
the, the day after that, our manager called me from, uh, from LA and he said, we've got an offer to play Mexico uh, on that date, the, uh, the McCarthy show. Yeah. And, uh, and it was too good of an offer to, to refuse. So I opted out of St. Paul and I gave my daughter 90 seats and uh, she called me from the show and she said, I can't believe that I'm sitting in the second row on the oh, floor. Oh, wow. In front of Paul, and uh, I, you know, I was like, I was thrilled for her, but I was so mad that I, yeah. <laughs> that I wasn't there because I thought, you know, that the other times I've seen him, I was kind of quite, quite away from the stage, but, uh, you know, he's so big man for me. Cool. Um, what would you say was the uh, the band that you had the most fun uh, to tour with? No, just uh, in general, like what band would you say that you had the most fun touring with? Uh, well, we toured with Rod Stewart in, in the late 70s, and uh, that was a blast because we were just new to the, to the music business, and especially in the United States. We, we opened for him in 60 cities around uh, North America and Canada, and we had a great time with him. But we, we've had a chance to work with some great people. We've worked with America quite a bit. We've worked with Christopher Cross and Anne Hill. Uh, or most embarrassing moment that you had on stage? Yeah. 
Thank you. Alright, goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.